Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. This is Pillow Talking with Ice and BX Lou. What's really good everybody? Say what's up Lou. What's going on, what's going on? We here, under the covers, and on top of the pillows. Yes, we are. Yes, yes. Just want to say thank you to everybody for tuning in. This is actually our first podcast. Yes, it is. And um, we hope to, you know, entertain and and keep you guys listening. Always. We always want you to listen. And I'm not going to be the smooth motherfucker y'all think I am. No, 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 no. I'm going to be me. I'm BX Lou. You know how I get down. But how does the queen get down? I gets down. That's what I do. You gets down? I gets down. So you you think they ready to hear what we got to say? Um, I don't know if they ready, but it is what it is. Because we a lot of talking about a lot of sex, a lot of dick, a lot of pussy, all that shit. Yeah, we're going to talk a little bit about everything. About everything. Everything. And so so let, let, let us give you a little history about <laughs> us, right? <laughs> Me and I's friends for a very, very long time. Yes. Before I said some inappropriate shit that made her change her mind. And then we went from friends to lovers. But not for very long. No. No, no, no. Not for very long. It took a long time, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, But I was all persistent, motherfucker. I mean, on and off. But, you know, we were best friends. You know, for 15 years before we crossed the line. So, that was very important. You know, and... And, and, and we're married now with children. Yes, we are. By the way. Married, that's right. Because I'm pretty sure after the show, we're going to conceive some more, you know what I mean? Um, I don't think so. No? No. Oh, oh, no. Damn, I fucked up. Yeah. That's a no-no. But anyway, you know, let, let's talk about this topic right now. Let, let, let's talk about... Can friends be lovers? Um... I think for only a period of time. I don't think it could be an ongoing thing. I think at some point when people decide to be homie lover friends, so to speak, I think that only lasts for so long. I think, you know, there comes a point in time where you're like, okay, you know, you've you, you, you crossed the line, obviously, and now it is what it is. And now decisions need to be made because now we're human. And we're going to start feeling a certain way. So friends can be fuck buddies without catching feelings? Is that what you're saying? Not after a while. No? Maybe at first it's all good. Hmm. But after a while, you're going to catch feelings. Because remember, you were friends first. Yeah, about the person. So now True. You, so now you're taking it to another level. True. So, and if that's working out, and if that's great and amazing, then you're going to start really considering taking it to the other level, which is a more serious level. I don't know, man. Like, so I feel like maybe women. You think men catch feelings too, like that? Cause you know, y'all call us dogs and shit. Y'all ain't shit. Well, for me, you know, for me personally, I I believe that men they talk a lot of shit. We should talk this. I, I think I think that some men really don't give a fuck and they just want to smash. They just want to sling the dick. And yeah, they want to sling the dick. And then, you know, I think there's other men that do give a shit, but they have to be old macho man about it. So they act like they don't give a shit. But deep down, they give a shit. Because trust, as soon as they see that the chick is on to doing better things, they're going to be butthurt. Butthurt? Yeah, butthurt. You think motherfuckers get butthurt when Abs- they move? Absolutely. So, absolutely. So basically, you know. Absolutely. Basically, what you're telling me is that even though y'all smash... You have an agreement, you have friends, somebody always gonna end up catching feelings. Of course. We're humans. Hmm. Eventually somebody's gonna catch feelings, absolutely. And remember, this is an agreement, homie lover friend agreement. So once you start thinking about not, you know, a- adhering to the agreement, then you really need to step back and really reanalyze the situation. Because at the end of the day, you're just a side piece, or you just you have to play your position. You know, I, I sit here and I think about what you just said. I just just realized that I was your side piece, my nigga. So I was your two piece. So with the biscuit. So we you, didn't have we didn't have an agreement though. No, it just happened. It just happened. It just happened. 
Yeah. And you liked it because you sitting here with me right now. I did like it. Hey. And I called for seconds. Hey. That was my I, next question. I like, sure did. You know. I sure fucking after did. After crossing the line, when is it appropriate for seconds? That's what I said on the job phone. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, you, you froze me on that one. Called his ass on the on the job. Like, was really good. When is it appropriate for seconds? And he put me on fucking hold. And there was no music, huh? You put me on hold, bro. Please hold. You yeah. did? Yeah, yes. I had to. You I had to. Hold. You caught me off guard. I'm at work, you know, I'm turning around a whole bunch of niggas and shit. Niggas you, is like, who's that? Yes. I'm like, yo, that's that's my friend, you know. Shorty, you know, me and her became intimate or whatever. And uh, she calling for seconds. And niggas is like, yo, pick up the fucking phone. and be like, right now, nigga. Like, you can leave right now. Yeah, those were good times. That's crazy. It was good times. It was very but, good but times. But what is appropriate for seconds? Like, immediately or? Whenever you want it. I mean, you know. You, but your friends, you got you to gotta think about it, though, right? Like, you don't want to be too persistent either. No, it is what it is. I'm going to tell you what I want. And that's that. But that's just me. That's just you. You know, there's a lot of women, you know, they... Mm, you know they take things slow, you know. And take they they just nice they, have, like they have they have a different approach. You know they beat around the bush. I hate those type of bitches. They they play hard to no get. No offense. And you know I get it, but when I want something, I'm go I'm gonna go get that. I like an aggressive woman. I, I love a woman who knows what she wants and she won't come grab you know, it. There's a lot and of men that they, they, they don't like that. They like a woman to just you know be there and just wait. You know, for things to happen and not take control of situations and and you know. Oh, that's so. That's not me though. All right, now my next question to you, Ice, is: What if once y'all cross the line, y'all friends, homie lover friends, you have the agreement? What happens if it's whack? Damn. What happens? Like, I like don't you know, know. What if? I if don't know. What if the the motion in the ocean? Is not what, you know, Damn. the kitty cat want. That's bad. What if it's whack, you know? What if uh, this nigga, like, two inches or some shit? Damn. And sometimes the size don't matter, you know? Like I just said, you know, the motion in the ocean. I don't, I don't know, man. Because I, I could tell you how I would have felt. It's tough. It's tough. What you mean how you would have felt? Well, if it would have been, let's just say it would have been whack, right? Oh man! I, I, I what a sad situation. I I think that our friendship would have been that's, that's it would have been alright. It would have been alright, but it would have never been the it, same. No, it would have been alright because I would have just did what I usually do, not talk to you for a couple of months and then highlight to you, you know, and we move on to being friends and the hope that the past is the past. The fuckery never ends. I tell the truth. I don't know. You know, I don't know. That's sad. Man, I got ice speechless over here. You know, because I don't, I wouldn't even want to think about being in that type of situation. <laughs> That's a really unfortunate situation. That's sad. Oh, how about how about my man is in there, right? He he's about to get his thing on, and Shorty takes off her her. Oh, you know where I'm going it. on this? Don't, you know where I'm going? Please don't. What her shit smell like? Woo. Nah. Then nah, what? Nah. We got friends. Like what? Nah, are you we doing? not friends no more. Nah. It's over. It's over. Because yeah. at that point, you got to tell your friend, yo. Nah. Shit smelling like you Nah. Know. That yeah. Your mm-hmm. shit don't smell like fruity pebbles, motherfucker. Mm mm. Mm mm. That's yeah, that's not good. Oh damn. That's not good. No. There's no coming back from Ain't that. Ain't no coming back because from Because every time house. you see that person, <laughs> the smell is just gonna go right up your nostril. You you just gonna always remember that stench. It's gonna be like Talking this- about that, what time is it right now? Right now it is I can't say. I don't know. It's nighttime. It's the nighttime. It's night night time. I have a question. Have you washed your ass yet? I, I just came from the shower. Oh, I have too. So right now, if you're listening to this and it's the middle of the night and you don't smell like a vanilla bean frappuccino delight, then you got issues. You smell. You smell good. All right, you need to calm down mm. and stop sniffing up on me. Oh yeah. But seriously, she smells good. By the way, get your life together. Wash that ass. Fuck, wash your fucking ass. Word. Okay? It's very important. Wash your okay? ass. It's very important. You don't need that bad, bad, bad situation happening to That's you. That's nasty. Okay? Do something. But anyway. Hmm. You know. Nasty. If that was to happen, 
I think that when you see the next person, and I'm talking about them smelling, you know how the cartoons be having nah, uh, the little scent on top of the cartoon? You're talking about the umo. Yeah. <laughs> the nah. little smoky smoke. Nah. Oh, mm-hmm. oh, that's nah. nasty. Nah, the fumes just like, you know, coming off of you. Nah. Mm-mm. That's nasty. That is nasty. Wash them motherfucking asses, man. Yeah. Even if it's morning time. You too grown to that, be smelling like shit. Bro, if you're in your car <laughs> right now and it's the middle of the day, trust me, you got a little sweat that's come dripping on, come, out. Uh, come your on, ass, come cracking on. your ass, yeah. Clean that. Clean that shit. Use wipies. <laughs> Do some motherfuckers. Nasty ass motherfuckers. <laughs> Nasty, B. But anyway, oh, what would make a man and a woman who have been friends for so long cross that line, though? Ooh. Well, for me, I was a very, you know, I was very unhappy. I wasn't happy in my situation. And um, I think it's just the right moment, right time, you know right thing you said the right thing at the right time that's what happened with me i mean because if you know if it wouldn't have happened like that it would never happen for me it was just a mystery oh man the mystery of it all the mystery of what it's just the mystery of you oh well you know you were still a mystery because i i did look at you in, in, in a girlfriend kind of way but not in a sexual manner yeah because uh, we were homies like yeah, real homies yeah like, you know, I wasn't already in a relationship for many years. You were in a relationship. You had a baby. Mm-hmm. You know, and we were living our lives as friends. Yeah. For a long time. Yeah. So you know, it's just weird how I, things I, happen. I think I started looking at you differently when I first when I first saw you in like a dress. <laughs> oh yeah. By the way, you know, I grew up as a tomboy, so you know, I wore the Timberland boots with the mini skirts. You know, that was me. You know, I was very tomboyish. Not on the block. On the block, you had the jeans, the Tims, and the fucking... Uh, me and BX Lou grew up on the same block, too. So I, I know BX Lou since I was nine. Yeah, I was and that eight. was many, many, many moons ago. Yeah, you know, I grew up seeing you with fucking button-downs and fucking jeans and... Oh, wow. Tims. Yeah. And the red lipstick. And the red lipstick. And let's, the Gap hat. Let's not forget the red and lipstick what, and the what, blue Gap hat. What they <laughs> what they call the grand... What is it? The father hat now, right? That's what they call it nowadays. I don't know what they call it now. I don't these, even think the millennials know what a Gap nah, hat is. Yeah, no. Nah, they call it the, the father hat. These motherfuckers out here changing not their the name Not the denim hat. That denim hat cannot be no grandpa yeah, yo, hat. That's what Grand, they call it. Grandpas are not, wear, are not wearing denim Gap hats. That, that's what they're calling it. The millennials, they, they know nothing about the Gap hat. That's what it is. It's old school. It's That's old what school it stuff. is. Oh, well. So, oh, I think wow. when the first time me seeing you in a skirt, that caught my attention. You know what I'm saying? I was like, hey, oh, hey, hey, look at the legs. Nah. Because you do have some nice legs. Thank you, thank you. You know, you know I'm a leg. I'm a sucker for legs. Yeah, well, I wasn't taking you seriously at No all. shit. You remember that time I was like, yo... We was playing dominoes yeah. in the middle of the fucking uh, mm-hmm. sidewalk. Yeah, you walked by me in the skirt. I walked up with you. I was I was drinking. Yeah, he was drinking. I was drinking. But you know what they say when you drunk, the truth comes out and shit. You know, she was going through her issues and shit, and I was like, yo, I could be that nigga for you, man. And what you said? I you sh- you I blew me down. off like a fucking wind. I sure did. Blew me off. I told him that he like was talking shit, that he needed to be quiet, that he needs to stop drinking. I was he drinking. He needs to stop talking shit. I was needs, on that heading, you know what I mean? He needs to keep playing his domino game and not worry about where the hell I'm going and what I got on. True. Because you had 21 questions Word. for me. Yeah, like I, I was somebody to you. Word. Where you going? And I told you to Who shut you the hell with? up. What time you coming Don't back? Don't ask me no questions. Your father know you going out. It ain't none of his business. It ain't none of your business. Okay? <laughs> Damn, I remember that day very I clearly. I do too. And I shut your ass down. Yeah. And then what happened a week later? It wasn't a week later. Was it a week? It was it, a week it later. Was, no, it was, it, was, it was like a week later. It was. It was a couple of weeks after. No, a couple of weeks. It, it wasn't, wasn't a that, week. It wasn't was a week. That far fetched. It wasn't a week. But anyway. Right, whatever, man. man you always whatever. gotta be right, right? Yeah, whatever. whatever. It's fourteen years later, y'all. It worked out. Yeah, we here. We here, doing pillow talking now. Yup. Married with children. Yup. Amazing shit, man. Yup. Ain't nothing better than, than than marrying your best friend and, you know, exploring each other, as best friends. Yeah, it's good shit. So you know, another thing we we want to bring to the show, is, we gonna be talking, 
about celebrity couples, <laughs> the fuckery that goes on. Oh, man. Like, my question right now to you is the booty hole. Why women find it so having an issue to give up the booty hole? I don't think a lot of women do. I think a lot of I think women are on the low. I think some women really enjoy it. Um, and at the end of the day, you got to do what you got to do. If not, the next person will do it. Um, but that's not to say that, you know, if you want a threesome, I'm going to have to give you a threesome. And, oh, well, you're going to have to get it somewhere else. You know, there has to be boundaries, you know. But, you know, I guess it depends on the individual. I don't think that, the, well, do you think you could... Do you think women should give it up all the time? Absolutely not, and not to everybody. Oh, okay. Yeah. So if if you boyfriend girlfriend, that's not working. Boyfriend and girlfriend, yeah. That I don't. Work. I don't know. I'm, I'm, boyfriend and girlfriend, yeah. It depends on how long you've been together. Yeah, nah. Boyfriend girlfriend, nah. I think if you gonna give up the booty hole, ladies, listen to me. I'm a man, right? You give up the booty hole, that nigga out. He got the booty hole. He out. I don't think so. I I think some niggas I don't, be. I don't I don't think so. I think you give up the booty hole and, and the next bitch ain't. I think he gonna be around. He might come back. Yeah, he might oh, come oh, back. He's gonna come back. He, he might come back. Trust you. Do whatever the next one ain't doing. He coming back. So you saying believe yeah. that? Hmm. Okay. Right. Believe it. You gotta make sure you clean your booty hole too. Yeah, and you can't be doing it all the time. Yeah, nah. Because if not, then you, when you take when you shit, walk, no, yeah, when you walk, it just falls out. Bloop. <laughs> Walking down, you got shit coming down your leg. Oh, <laughs> you be fucking uh, the pens and shit. shit. You be wearing diapers again, <laughs> all over again. Get the fuck out of here, Listen, with that man, shit. It's not for everybody, you know. You, you know, you know, like, you know, it takes a real what, person to take it. You know it what in the else ass. I find fascinating? It, it takes a real person to take it in the ass. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> Okay, whether you whether you're a woman, a man, whatever. Whoa, wait a it minute! It takes a, a real mean, woman, a man, fucking person, a real strong person to take it in the ass. What I always say: the gay man who takes it in the ass <laughs> is a bigger man than I am. Yep. Yeah. Shit is serious. You got to be a real motherfucker to take it in your yeah, ass. Take it all. That's nuts. Hey. And you know what they say though? Hey. But they say that it's when, possible. You know, the man's G spot. Is in the in, in the anus that's location. What they, that's what they say. That's what they say, right? That's what they say. Wow, unbelievable. Hey. But you know what else I, I find fascinating about the new millennial shit mm-hmm. is how comfortable people are talking about either getting head or giving head. When I was growing up and in my teenage years and in my 20s, that wasn't a conversation that was had. It'd be, ill, ooh, nah, not right now. Because but now, it's just different. Motherfuck- bitches be out here like, yeah, I'm gonna suck his dick and this and that and all that. Like, it's yo, just, that's crazy. It's just a different time. You know, let's, so let's think about our parents. You know, there was a lot of things that they didn't talk about. There was a lot of things that they didn't do. You know, you know, instead of, you know, now people say, oh, I'm about to smash. There's a lot Back of in the days, it's like, oh, me and Billy went all the way last night. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> it's just different. You know, it's just all different the way. We, we went all the way last night. Me and Billy, we went all the way. Me being the motherfucker, I am like, all the way, like, what? Where the fuck y'all went? I went to McDonald's? Now they all, they went all the way in the back of the Chevy. Oh, back in the Jeep? Well, not wherever. Back of the Jeep, this one episode? No, that, that, cool that, was, that was, you know, after our parents' time. But, you know, you got to think about I don't even want to think about that. It's just like, nasty I, to me. I understand that. Uh. But back in the day, it was just different. Then there is our generation. It was different for us. And now the millennials are just on another level. Yeah, like, I'm it is a, what it is. The evolution. Home, be. It's the evolution. I'm here for it. You know, I respect it. And it is what it is. Just be safe. It could be on you know, that. do Ooh, you. Shit. Because when I was single, I did me. And I didn't give a fuck about nothing and nobody. I did I, what I wanted to do. I'm not going to talk about when I was single. Mm-hmm. Okay. I did what I wanted to do. And that's that. And I didn't have to explain myself to no fucking body. That was why you were single. And that's fine. But I was happy when I was single. I don't remember telling you I could never be with a bitch like and you. And I used to tell you I couldn't be with a motherfucker like you either. <laughs> and look look at us now, 14 years later. Ain't this a bitch? Oh shit, that's crazy, it, right? It is because I remember you telling me that, and I remember me telling you that. 
That's true. And here we are. And it wasn't because I was a player. I wasn't no player back in the days. You this know what I'm saying? This fucking lying What ass. you mean, lying ass nigga? What you saw me do that made you think I was a player? I'm not getting into this right no, now. No, we going to get into this. Pillow talking, damn it. Listen. Listen. I'm not, I'm not here for the shits. You think because I used to come on the block with a different girl every other week, I was a player? They were just my friends. They were your friends when you were bringing them to your house for milk and cookies? Like, for Netflix? And, <laughs> like, what the fuck? That's what you was bringing them no. on the block for? No, they were just... And then when you saw me coming on the block, you running with your little floozies, and yeah, I don't know yeah, why nah, you was running, because we were friends. Because you were going to fuck my shit up. I was not going to fuck your you shit up. You was going to be like, yo, who this? That's not the same bitch from last week. Listen. Yeah. At the end see? of the day, see? at the end of the day, I'm a sticker for the chicks, and if they get played, I'm gonna let them bitches know, like, yo, he playing you. That's fucked up. I'm gonna let them know. You know why? Because I want somebody to let me know, <laughs> so I could go fuck their friends. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. That's how you going? Yeah. Nigga cheat on you? Yeah. Fucking his friends? Yeah. You gonna wow. learn? You gonna learn today? Well, you know why I always say that. I I always used to say that shit too, though. Nah, fuck that. Because I was like, yo, my girl cheat on me. I'm going to go fuck somebody in her family. That, that's bad. Yeah, yeah. That's horrible. That, that's how they learn. That's yeah, how they fucking so learn. To not try to play a bitch like me. That's true. That's true. Nah. It is what it is. Fuck I'm going to do shit my way. You're going to do shit your way. You're going to be a weak ass bitch. You're going to be home crying. Boogers and everything. Boogers and, and everything. And I'm be fucking his friend. Wow. And then uh, let him know. Like that? Yeah, like that. All that. Wow. And then I'm going to let him know. And then he's going to be mad. Well, if you were a millennial, you record it and send yeah, him the video Yeah, I tape. Snapchat the pussy and just fucking send wow. it over. Snap that. The, the, that's that. what they say, wow. right? Snapchat the pussy. That's what they do, right? The millenniums? The millennials? You got that's me, me t- tongue-tied over here. <laughs> listen, listen, I'm not with the shits. Wow. That's crazy. Nah, fuck that. Yeah, absolutely. You, ruth- you got ruthless aggression. Yeah. I should have been a, a dude. I should in another In my other life, I'm a dude. In another life, you're I'm a dude. dude that's hang that's hanging because I got a big foot as a woman. <laughs> so if I was a, a guy, I'd be holding. You'd be slanging. I'd be slanging, slanging dick here, slanging dick there, slanging dick everywhere. The fuck <laughs> out of here, my nigga! This is taking a left turn. I'm just saying, you know, in my I other could, life, I, I, I think too much like a dude. Well, you know what? That's if my I was problem. A, I'll be honest with you. If I was a woman, right? But that has a lot to do with what I'm I probably would have been a hoe, though. When you was what? If I would have been a woman, I probably would have been a hoe. Hey. Because niggas ain't shit out here, son. Yo, hoes life matters. They matter, too. You Oh, by the way, the me and Ice had this conversation, listen, right? Listen. A couple of weeks ago about how the strippers in New York were going on strike. Yeah. Remember that conversation? Because yes. the bartenders was making more money. Yes. So let me, let me bring y'all up today, right? Strippers in New York are upset because the bartenders are making more money than they are. Niggas is spending the money and throwing the money at the bartenders who are fully dressed. They're now, not fully dressed. They are fully dressed. They're, they're not they're showing pro- anything. They're, they're provocatively have, dressed. Yes. Provocative. Provo- pro- provocatively Yes, dressed. that's the word. They're dressed like that. Yes, they are. <laughs> but these bitches out here dropping it like it's hot. With no clothes on. Pussy popping. Pussy popping. <laughs> like my man, you know. Like my man, Al. You know what I'm saying? But I'm saying, shouldn't they be getting more money than the fucking bartender bitches? I will hope that if I'm fucking, you know, pussy popping, that I'm getting paid more than the fuck. Not in New York, nigga. That I'm getting paid more than somebody who's just pouring drinks. Not in New York. I and, would hope so. And I just saw... Online, because I was going through my timeline. Oh, Lord. That these bitches, these past weekend, was still on strike. Damn. Still on strike. That's why I said, yo, Cardi B did the right thing. Yeah, she's winning. Shout out to Cardi Shout B. Shout out to Cardi, man. She's winning right now. She is winning 1,000. Wow. Well, listen, hoes lives matter. Stripper lives matter. Bartender lives matter. So what's going to happen? What you think is going to happen? I don't know. Oh, the bartender's about to be like, well, if I'm a club owner and the strippers are on fucking strike, I'm telling the bartenders, all right, you up. I don't know. Next batter up, you got to do something. I don't know what they're going to do about that. Y'all better start shaking them cheeks up there. The thing is that I've seen the bartenders shake their cheeks. I've seen it. They're not probably butt naked, but they're dressed, you know, accordingly. 
they just real like you know provocative. Yeah, you know, titties to the neck, all type yeah, shit. As they should, they're the in fucking a fucking strip club. Camel toe at what a thousand. What you want them to be? Well, no, dressed. Not, how you want them I'm, to be dressed? I'm, I'm not saying that, but um, you know, bartenders shouldn't be getting paid more than the fucking strippers. They. That's crazy. At the end of the day, people are gonna spend the money with the way they want to spend it. I think I'm with the whether strippers though. Whether it's on crack cocaine, the strippers. I don't mean, fuck with the fucking strip clubs anyway. Oh, I went once and had a blast, and that was that. Yeah, that was fun. We had a, a great time. Listen, ladies, go to the strip club with your man. Have an open mind. Leave the bullshit at the door. We're not saying you gotta take. Shh, one. I'm talking right now. Oh my bad. Listen, ladies, take your man to the strip club. Oh, sure. Take him. Leave your bullshit at the door. Have some fucking confidence. Let him smack a bitch in the ass. Let let him get it off. Hey. Because guess what? When you go home, you get <laughs> that HD, bitch. That's what's gonna happen. You're gonna get the HD. Tell him what the HD is. That Tell heady him. dick. That's what you're gonna get. <laughs> the shit that you gotta <laughs> tap, tap out. out. Yeah, that's what you're gonna get. So take your man to the strip club. And we we not saying go in there and be like bring a bitch back home. No 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 no. no. The bitch stay in her lane. She still get her money on the pole. You leave you leave the bitch at the job. Yeah. But best believe you gonna get the reward. You gonna get the business. Yeah. It's gonna be a good time. You gonna get that. mm, mm, But mm. remember, you gotta leave your bullshit insecurities at the door. Yep. Have a little fun. That's all. All right. You want smack a little ass too? Go smack a little ass. Let him live. Let him live. You'd rather him go to the strip club with his boys or go with you? Think about that. That's true. Let him live. At least you know what he's doing. He's right in front of you. Let him live. Right in front of you, smacking ass. And he's looking at you all happy, too, like a kid in the candy store. Like, like I love this bitch. I love this bitch. I love this bitch. I'm going to give her a dick tonight. I love this bitch. I'm going to dick her down tonight. Yes. Tell you. Oh, man. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, that's a true story. Man, this is fun. <laughs> this is fun, and I hope that you guys are enjoying this conversation. It's going to get crazier. We got so many things to talk about, but we can't do that all in one part. No, we can't. We can't. But there is one part of the show, or this podcast, whichever one you want to call it, that we are also going to share with you, and is our thoughts on celebrity couples and what we think goes down in their bedroom. Mm. So every podcast we have, we will be picking a celebrity couple to talk about. And on our first list of couples, we're going to pick J-Lo and A-Rod. What do you think about that? I don't know. It's that I don't I don't see J-Lo like being a freak. You don't think she's giving up the cheeks? I don't think so. Mm-mm-mm. What about Ava? He looks like a dud. He looks so, so... To me. So two duds make an exciting milk dud. No, no. No? Two duds are just a fucking duds. They're just duds. So you... Th- All right. So, okay. We talk about... J-Lo, a.k.a. Jennifer Lopez, a.k.a. Jenny from the Block, a.k.a. she's like 50-something years old and her body is still on smash. No, she's a beautiful woman. I mean, you know, she's beautiful, but I don't know. I never looked at her as, you know, the greatest thing on earth. Because I always say you go to 125th and, you know, Lex, and you could probably see like 15 or 16 of her. Well, that's true. But, but for you know, me, I just, I you know, know, she is who she is. I guess because she's, for me, she's very reserved. So you don't get to see like that. Freak Those are the side. scary ones, though. That's true. That's true. Um, so maybe she is a freak. Maybe she's taking the ass. Maybe she's letting that nigga piss on her. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Let me piss on you. Yeah, maybe Yeah, maybe she let him do it. I don't know. Wow. I don't know. I don't think she's like that either, though. I don't. Mm. I, I, this is my take, right? My take on women that have bodies like that and dance like that. And perform like that. This is my personal take. I don't think they'd be putting it down in the bedroom, son. I wouldn't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think they'd be putting it down know. in the bedroom, yo. I wouldn't know, but I would hope that if a dude talking shit, he back that shit up. That's for sure. You can't be out here talking shit. 
talking about you doing this, you doing that, and then you, you know, it's time to get down, and it's just like, wah, wah, wah. Like, no. Yeah, nah. Yeah, nah. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Don't be talking shit. We can't back it up, people. And then with Avar, I don't know, you know, this dude... You know, he, Avon looks like his breath steak. I don't know. You say about all light skin. No, I don't. All light skin no, dudes with, with freaking <laughs> hazel green eyes. You always say that shit. You say uh, them niggas got halitosis, they breath steak. I don't know. That's how I feel. You know what I do know this is, though? That uh, those light skin guys no, 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 that no. you're talking about, no. they all got like particular like lips. They all have almost like the same lips. So maybe that's Pause, what it is. no homo. Not that maybe I be looking at these niggas' is. lips. But you know, I don't have I never have been through a traumatic experience where I'm like, ooh, all the other like this. Like, I don't know. It's just how I feel inside. Anyway. <laughs> I, I look at Avon and I don't think he be handling his business either. <laughs> Cause he's been in and out of relationships. <laughs> And some of the women he's been in relationships with look like freaks. Like Tori Wilson from the WWE. She she was a freak and she she was known to be a freak. And I they that relationship broke up like like that. It was quick. In and out. She let him go. She probably, he probably couldn't hang. He probably can't hang with J Lo now. I don't know. I think they're together for convenience anyway. At this point I don't in their know. lives, they, they're a cute couple and everything. They look know? good together. They do. They, just they look do boring. look good together. But yeah, I think their sex life is boring. I think she talks to him in Spanish when they have sex. <laughs> I can, yeah, I can see that. What? <laughs> Mira, baby. Nah, no, get the fuck out of nah. here. What the fuck she saying? Eh? I don't know what she's saying. You got hey, age. You Puerto know. Rican. You gotta know what she's saying. I don't know what she's saying. She's Jenny from the Bronx. I don't know. I don't know what she's saying. <laughs> He's Dominican, so what do you think he's saying? Oh, maybe she's saying, ay, papi, dámelo, por favor. Maybe oh, that's God. what she's saying. Oh, like the, like the fucking P. Diddy song? What? Remember the um, P. Diddy song? Mami, big, I keep yeah. I want to be a papi chulo, can't you see? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Avon, he like, he's not your typical Dominican. Uh-oh. <laughs> nah, I don't see him saying that. I don't know, Avon is the smooth Dominican. Because he's not from the Heights. That's why. He's not from the Heights. No, nah, he's from Miami. If he was from the Heights, then maybe they'd have to have a different conversation. I'm from maybe Miami. he won't be a dud if he was from the Heights. Wow. <laughs> so J Lo's a dud, and A Rod's a dud, <laughs> creating a Hispanic dud. Oh, man, that's bad. What that's, a waste. Wow. I hope not, J Lo. I hope you, th- you put it down, boo. Throw it back, J Lo. Yeah, throw it back. All I ask, you better rep- be doing something. Represent for the bitches in the Bronx. Unbelievable. <laughs> but anyway, Hi. I'd like to take this time out to thank everyone that's listening. I know you guys been waiting for this for like a, two weeks, but it's here. I told you we was going to do this. We're going to do this. We're going to continue to do this. Yes, I'm very excited. We're going to need your feedback, though. Absolutely. Tell us what you want us to talk about. We're going to talk about it. Anything. Please. Anything I'm, you want I'm to talk about. I'm not scared. I'm not a prude. Yeah. I'm not afraid. I'm going to say what is on my mind. And I don't give a fuck. And something always is on our mind. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we just going to leave you with that. And before we leave, we got to let you know, you know, you got to also listen to our other podcast, man. It's, this is all brought to you by Hood News Media, which is myself, BX Lou. My queen, Ice, and my man, my cousin, Ken Dog. And we decided that we wanted to do this for fun. And we here, you know. We got Real Hood Reviews, which we review movies, you know, shows, uh, anything that has to do with entertainment. We review it. Concerts. I went to the Jay-Z concert. We reviewed that on his stories. That was fun. That's another one of our podcasts, Hood Stories, where me and Ice and Ken get together and we talk about the events that happened during the week and we talk some shit and shit comes up. And if you missed the first episode, go check it out. It's on Podbean. It's on iTunes. It's on Google Play. Go check it out. We talk about Everything that went on last week. We even talk about the Knicks. Right? 
And when we talk about the Knicks, oh my God, we talk about Bodega Knicks. Sports. I can't, I can't with the Knicks. Bodega Sports is our other podcast that, you know, we be talking about sports. That's me and Ken Dog, and we gonna get it in. Now, next week, we be back. Maybe, Absolutely. maybe sooner than that. Maybe, maybe we surprise sooner. surprise yeah. you guys with a surprise episode or something. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, make sure you tune in. Now, Isis, you want to let them know where they can reach us at and all that? Oh, you guys can reach us at hoodnewsmedia at gmail.com. And that's hoodnews with a Z. Z, people. So, hoodnewsmedia at gmail.com. And you can check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Podbean, iTunes, and Google Play. And uh, we look forward to hearing from you guys. Um, any questions, any uh, suggestions, we are definitely open to all of that. And um, don't be afraid to like and share and subscribe. And subscribe, you know. Um, we're doing this for fun and we also want to keep you guys entertained. And you can find us on Twitter too. Don't get it twisted. Oh, yeah. Let's not forget Twitter. Um, and that's pretty much it. So we hope to be. Uh, back very very soon and hope you guys come back uh, to listen to the more fuckery that we have to talk about so with that being said we like to say either good morning happy afternoon or good night anything else you'd like to say yeah now it's time for hot dogs to buns